am going to attempt to try this new project. I have no idea if you will ever even see this video because if this turns out super bad, I'm not gonna show it. I've never done needle felting before. My mom actually picked this kit up at a local yarn shop, Cheers to You, in Huntersville, North Carolina. And she just, you know, she just wasn't able to do it and she gave it to me and I thought, well, I'll try it. Good thing there's a lot of YouTube videos for how to do needle felting, but it is really adorable and I don't know how difficult this is, but I'm going to give it a try. So the little kit comes with all of the felt and it is really beautiful, this wool felt. Um, all of these supplies that I literally have no idea what they are um, <laughs> because I haven't ever done anything like this before, but um, you know what? I'm going to try. I think it might be fun and this is, is really gorgeous. Well, it's rather heavy. That's interesting. Um, so I'm going to try. There are some directions here, but I may need a little bit of help with some tutorials and we shall see. Figuring a few things out. <laughs> Maybe if I read the directions better. Note that it does not go all the way in when you are trying to assemble the needle holder. So this is the needle holder and there is a very sharp needle right there. And they come like this. I guess so that that's a little hook there so that it doesn't slide out or move around in there. So I've got this sharp little thing right here. And then these are like the little covers for your fingers because this, this could hurt somebody. So I'm gonna start trying. It says um, you get the little ecru wool and you tear a piece off and we're gonna, hey, why not? Why not just try? Even if it's a huge failure, <laughs> I'm gonna try. I had to put down the needle felting because Jersey has his vet appointment and they, we had to give him a sedative so that he would be a little more calm for them and he's just walking very oddly right now. It's okay, baby, come on, come on. And it is a dreary, dreary day today, but you know what, these are like my favorite kind of days. You ready, you ready to get in the car? You ready to go for a ride? show you guys some of our cutie little downtown this is um, we live in Concord North Carolina which is right outside of Charlotte and this was an old mill town so they used to make all types of textiles um, from a long time ago they made textiles for all over the United States maybe even the world I have no idea but um, that's kind of what this town was built around way back when not as old as European town. So I think this was established back in the late 1700s, something like 1790s. It's when the town actually became a real official city in North Carolina. And it's just a really sweet town. It's a really friendly place, not too big. But we are a suburb of Charlotte, so I think in our area, I don't know, I think it's around 100,000 people. I think that is our population. So now we're getting into the actual downtown area. So we have shops and a few churches. Um, these are really cute little 
stores and restaurants and this area is really becoming revitalized. This was an old hotel that went into disrepair for many years and is now condos. It's called The View at Hotel Concord and it's really nice. This used to be not even that long ago, maybe just a few years ago, um, basically kind of a place where unfortunately a lot of homeless people um, stayed and, and you know people who were doing drugs and things like that used this place so now they have really made it nice and I don't live too far from here so it's really nice that this area has just been transformed and it's just so darn cute we have a chocolatier a French chocolatier delicious and we also have the creamery which is our ice cream shop and it has been here for a really really long time um, so we like to come down here and get some good food and ice cream and there is a music store that's been here forever a yoga studio there's just a lot of really nice things and it's a great it's a great place to live a great place to raise a family is the old courthouse it's beautiful you really aren't going to be able to see it because of the big tree but it is a beautiful old courthouse beautifully painted they really just use it for historic things now they do some plays and things like that it's really really pretty we also have a ballroom dancing place downtown how fun is that and then there's the actual courthouse built in the 70s hideous building absolutely hideous and then we actually have a jail, <laughs> a jail right here. Um, they actually have a little water park in front of it and people bring their children to play in front of the jail, which I find a little bit strange, but you know what? To each his own, right? If you want your kids to play in front of the jail, you go for it. I'm actually really happy with how this bird turned out. I didn't think it was going to go well. Like if you saw in the beginning, I really thought, oh, this is, I'm never gonna show this on YouTube. Now, this little bird is not perfect, but I think it actually turned out pretty cute. I found some resources for needle felting. Um, I don't know how much I will actually do it because I think to get really good at it, like everything else, you're gonna have to spend time. But it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, especially for a total beginner like me. It really was just making shapes and making sure that those shapes sort of look like the shapes that the instructions gave. So the little body is just like an egg shape here. The head was actually just round and then you make these triangular shaped wings and sort of that for the tail in the back. So actually it turned out really kind of cute. The legs, don't ask me about the legs because they did not turn out good, but that's okay. It's kind of hidden in here and I think it looks really cute on my mantle. This is just sort of like a little fall and I have my Lolly and Grace um, embroidery hoop that I did last fall, which was really, really fun. But I'll have the links for everything in the description box below. You can just click that link to the blog post and I'll have everything there. And as always, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and I will see you all next week.